If you haven't learned how to plot a point in a coordinate system yet, please visit that lesson first, as you will need to master that in order to understand lines. Any two points on a Cartesian plane can be connected by a line. We can use this to show relations between two things, or how a quantity of something is changing over time. The amount of cake that Mary has sold can be expressed as different points on a plane. Let the y-axis represent the total amount of cake sold, and the x-axis represents time in days. Now we can see that after one day, she has sold one cake. After two days, she has sold two cakes, and so on. Mary seems to be selling one cake per day. Michael sells cakes too. Here's his results. Michael's line is not as steep as Mary's. It tells us Michael is selling slower than Mary. Now Monica starts selling cakes as well. And she sells a lot. Her line is steeper than both of the others. The steepness of a line is called gradient. If the x-axis represents time, then the gradient represents the rate of change, how fast something changes over time. In order to find the gradient of a line, we must know two points on a line. The gradient is telling us how much up or down is a line going for each step forward. These two dotted lines indicate the vertical and horizontal change. That is, how much does y change when x changes by some amount? The length of the vertical line is given by the difference in the y values between the two points a and b. And the length of the horizontal line is given by the difference in x values between the two points. It is the proportion of these two lengths that is the gradient. A bigger difference between the y values means a larger number and a steeper gradient. A bigger difference between the x values gives a low value and a gentler slope. If the difference between the xs and the ys is identical, then the slope has the gradient 1, which means the slope is 45 degrees. Now let's do some maths, so we can get a numerical value of that slope. Take the y value of point A, minus the y value of point B, 6 minus 2. Divide that by the x value of point A minus the x value of point B, 3 minus 1. It does not matter which point you start with as long as you take them in the same sequence, both above and below the division line. Neither does it matter which two points you choose, since we are only concerned with the relative difference in vertical and horizontal change. Any pair of points on the line will do. Do the subtractions and the division, and you get the value 2. The gradient of the line AB is 2. Gradients are often represented by the letter M, so we'll write it as M equals 2. It means that for each one step forward, the line goes up two steps. Look at this line. It slopes the other way. Let's measure the gradient. Use the formula and let C be x1 and y1 and D be x2 and y2. 1 minus 2 is minus 1, and 4 minus 1 is 3. Had both numerator and denominator been negative, we would have got a positive answer. But now only 1 is, and we get negative 1 third. The gradient of the line CD is a negative number, and the line is sloping downwards. That is no coincidence. For each step forward, the line drops by one third of a step vertically. A negative gradient means a downward sloping line. Can you see how these lines have the same gradient? The new line passes through different points than CD, but the rate of change is the same. Whenever lines have the same gradient, we say they are parallel, which means 
they will never intersect. Two straight lines can either share a point with each other, or they can share a gradient, but they cannot share both. The gradient of a line is a measure of its steepness. It is often represented by m. If x is time, then the gradient shows the rate of change. The steeper the line, the greater the gradient. To calculate the gradient of a line, it is enough to know the position of two points on the line. You subtract the coordinates of one point from the coordinates of the other one. This gives you the proportional change between the two points. Lines with positive gradients slope upwards to the right, and lines with negative gradients slope downwards to the right. Two lines that are parallel have the same gradient, but do not intersect with each other.